Today, we are attempting the world record for the blue jeans mile. Well, not really. The world record is four minutes, six seconds. My best time is four minutes and 59 seconds, and I'm not even in shape. So, we're gonna attempt to break sub six minutes, and if we do, I'm gonna buy myself a brand new pair of the Zoom Victory track spikes, and if I don't, I will buy you guys a brand new pair of any spikes you guys would like. All you have to do is comment down on the video, so let's go run. All right guys, so this is the blue jeans mile and we are off. So I wanted to try out this challenge because this is gonna be something a little different. Also, since I have came back into training this year, I have not run a sub six minute mile. So I want to challenge myself to run a sub six minute mile and why not do it in some blue jeans, something that I never wear. And the world record holder has ran four minutes and six seconds. Now his PB in the mile is three minutes and 49 seconds. So for me, that would be around a 530 mile. So I'm really gonna have to push myself on this run. Coming in around 200 meters, I came in a little fast. I came in at 41 seconds. And I knew that if I wanted to go sub six on this, I was gonna have to slow down, go to six minute mile pace, and just maintain that pace for the whole run. Now, as I come in through 300 meters, I start slowing down and relaxing. I said, no more 41, let's relax. Let's try to keep this pace going so that I don't gas out on laps three and four because I've done this many times in the mile by going out too fast. As I come in this first lap, I'm gonna split a time of one minute and 27 seconds. Great time. Honestly, at this point, I'm not really feeling much of a difference in the blue jeans because I'm not running at like a sprint pace, so I'm not really feeling it too much. But they are a little bit heavier, so I'm not noticing it yet. But as I start getting on to the second lap, my body's starting to sweat a little bit. And as the sweat's going on, I'm starting to sweat in my legs, and it's making it stick to my legs, meaning that it's harder to pick up my legs. So once I try to pick up the pace a little bit, I can really start feeling it, especially when I start getting a little tired. At 600 meters right here, I feel relaxed, I feel good, my body feels good, my form looks good, and overall I'm not feeling super tired. So at this point, I in my head I believe I'm going to go sub 6. I can maintain this pace for the rest of this run, but now it's about how much further can I get under, and can I maintain this on the 3rd and 4th lap, because just because at 600 meters you feel like you can do this, doesn't mean that by 1200 meters or by a thousand meters that your body is going to be able to maintain that pace. And also, as I'm wearing these blue jeans, they're getting heavier and heavier as I'm running. I'm starting to feel the effects of using blue jeans. This is something totally different and I think that you should go out with your friends and you guys should challenge yourself to try out the blue jeans mile. I know I, can't, I, know I came nowhere near, I should say, the world record of 406. I mean, that's an insane time. And I hope one day someone can break four minutes on this. But I recommend that you guys go out and challenge your friends to do this to see who can actually go and run the fastest time. And I want you guys to duet me on my Instagram, underscore runners motivation underscore, and send me your guys' races. And if you can't, you know, send me a link of a video, a YouTube video, or something you guys do where you guys race each other. Because I want to see you guys try to see how fast you guys can go. Now, as I am coming in on 1K, at this point, I'm starting to feel tired, just like you normally do in a mile. I'm starting to feel the effects of this of these blue jeans, and I'm not liking it. And I, do, I actually want to quit at this point. I don't feel like running. My lungs are hurting. But I know all I have is 600 meters left. And if I can just push through, I can finish this. I'm going to get sub six, because I'm on pace. I'm at four minutes right now, coming in with 300 meters left. So I know coming into this, I'm on pace. I can do this. I'm going to finish it. But all I need to do is hold on. I need to make sure my, I'm standing up straight and make sure I'm using proper form. 
So now we come in at 1200 meters and I'm going to split a time of 4 minutes and 24 seconds. So right now I am hurting. I mean I am hurting at this point. My lungs are hurting, my legs are hurting. And the jeans are actually really sticking to my legs now because all that sweat. So it's starting to stick to my legs more. And I'm having to use a little bit more arms to push my legs to move forward because my legs don't want to take a long stride. They want to take short choppy strides. And that's not going to help me right now. Now, I have to kick at this point. I'm going to have to push myself if I really want to get under that sub six minute mile pace. So we're going to have to push it right here. We got about 200 meters left and we need to kick. Now, if you look at the time, I'm on pace. I got this. All I need to do is pump my arms, kick, and maintain form. When you guys are running a mile, when you guys are trying to do these challenging things, you need to have the mindset that you can do this. So as I'm coming through all this, I'm not listening to music, no one's pumping me up, I'm out here by myself, and I'm making a video and I'm telling myself, I have to do this, I have to finish this for the video, I have to push myself. So I keep coming through, and I'm sprinting at this point, I'm sprinting with, I'm pushing with my arms, I'm sprinting as hard as I can, and I am giving it everything I got. Knowing that I'm gonna make this helps me, but even if you don't think you're gonna make it, you need to believe that you can, you need to push yourself and get the best out of you. So I'm coming through, boom, I'm gonna split a time of five minutes and 55 seconds. All right guys, I'm exhausted, but we ran 5.55. Now the jeans felt very heavy towards the end. It's something fun, challenge your friends and do it yourself. I'm going to buy myself the new Nike Victory Air Zooms, whatever they're called, track spikes. And I'm going to give you guys a free gift card to either Nike, East Bay, whatever. So comment down what you would like to have. And the first person to comment, I'm going to be sending you guys a free gift card and I'll get you guys details. Please click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.